So as you know sir, the ABP is doing the massive investment in the right segment in Maharashtra sir. Mm -hmm. So what impact on the market dynamics do you see on the current paper market sir? Ah, I see, I see there is a lot of space uh, for further uh, uh, production increase in India. And uh, since APP is coming up uh, with, a, with a greenfield project, so I would say it's a welcome step and it is going to uh, uh, take the industry uh, forward to the next level. So, uh, and I see market growing, uh, various segments of markets growing uh, with APP coming into India. So, uh, I see, I see uh, overall industry getting benefit uh, and, and the consumers of India getting benefit uh, from the coming of APP to India. Okay. A part of this um, APP, sir, what is the current market paper scenario do you see? Uh, you post COVID, see, sir. Ah, post COVID, you rightly mentioned. You see, there have been uh, the dynamics have changed a lot uh, post COVID, and um, I, I see a uh, lot of changes coming up. Uh, number one, the traditional way of doing business uh, has totally changed now. And uh, we are having more and more uh, online meetings, uh, more frequent online meetings. Uh, and uh, as far as product basket is concerned, many uh, mills have, uh, uh, you know, changed their product basket post-COVID. Uh, like uh, fine paper demand has slightly, you know, the growth is not uh, as good as it was before COVID. And we are seeing that it is it may decline in coming days for writing printing paper I'm talking about and, and also for newsprint. So those mills have uh, found other uh, areas, uh, you know, uh, to, to focus upon. And uh, the main area is uh, hygiene products and, uh, you know, single-use plastic uh, has been banned. So, uh, but there is no substitute in India today. And uh, mills are working on providing the good substitute for single-use plastic. So packaging is going to grow uh, significantly. In, in the coming days and many others are focusing on uh, uh, environmentally friendly you know packaging solutions so so uh, we, we see some exciting new segments you know where where the paper industry can grow and grow at a good pace so i would say next decade is going to be very exciting for indian paper industry we can we can uh, produce not only for indian market but also for exports Okay, sir, what appreciation in writing putting pricing do you see in coming time, sir? Ah, you see, this is all market dynamics. So no, I would not, pr price is down, sir, right? Uh, I would not like to comment on pricing part because, you know, there are, because we are linked globally today. Okay. And there are several phenomena. You see, Russia, Ukraine war, it can have an impact. Then anything goes wrong with China, it can have an impact. So it is dynamic pricing. So let us not go into that. I can only say that uh, that the future of Indian paper industry is good. Okay. And even if it is writing printing segment, we are not going to see sharp decline in, in, in coming years. Though growth may not be as good as it was pre-COVID, uh, but it's, it's, it's good. Okay, so uh, just tell about where your um, brown project we are going to uh, set up in, in your Uttarakhand, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. What is the uh, idea behind this project, sir? Uh, you see, again, as I mentioned, the government of India has done away with single use plastic. And today, uh, uh, the consumers, I mean, the big companies uh, who are, who are uh, wrapping their, their, their produce uh, into, into BOPP films and, you know, plastic films. So, they really don't have a viable domestic, uh, uh, you know, option available to them. So we see a lot of uh, market potential in this area. So this project is basically uh, is eyeing uh, a flexible packaging segment. Today, flexible packaging, when you say 99% is film based, plastic film based. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of scope. Uh, companies like Nestle have announced uh, 2025 as a, as a year when they would like to do 100% environmentally friendly packaging. So, so we are eyeing uh, those, those big consumers uh, who are looking for uh, sustainable packaging solutions. So this, pro this machine uh, would be producing a substitute uh, for single-use plastic uh, and that would be environment friendly. So what will be the tonnage and the GSM range you are uh, going to make? Uh, tonnage would be uh, close to 150,000 tons uh, per annum and uh, the GSM range uh, is right from 40 GSM to 170 GSM. So what will be the product basket sir? Like what? Uh, 
एक्सैक्टली और इट वुड बी इट वुड बी एज आई मैं बेसिकली इट वुड बी आई स्पेशलिटी पेपर uh and uh, we will be producing on this machine as per the demand of the consumers as per the need of the consumers so it is going to be challenging uh, there will be lot of products it would be going to the food industry and uh, it would be going to fmcg you know for to replace their uh, bopp film packaging so uh, you know flexible packaging so uh, and uh, uh, will be producing some coated grades as well uh, but all would be for packaging applications so what one of the investments is going on as we spent last time in 2018 we are we have invested in the 2000 crore rupees in hmm. one project fbb so. and sbs boards are you are no 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 uh, we have done our investment in in hardwood fiber line Okay. And and chemical recovery. So that is the back end. Yeah. And so this is uh, going to be a new investment in the in the machine. Sir, yeah. What is the expected date of your new project, brownfield project, starting? I mean, ah, so so, so, so yeah, yeah. So it would be it would be commissioned sometime in January 2025. Okay, sir. And uh, what future year do you see in next two year for the writing printing paper? You see, writing printing paper is going to stay strong. I mean, it's not going anywhere, and uh, but as I mentioned, the growth is not going to be as good as it was uh, perhaps before COVID. So there would be some sluggish growth. Uh, the growth numbers may not be as strong, uh, but definitely, I mean, uh, you can expect uh, it to grow by maybe three to four percent in sir, next. Uh, last period. question, sir. Like uh, uh, government of India has implemented the paper import monitoring system. Yeah. So the some of the uh, trader association is saying that it, it, it is a curb on the import. and it is not a fair thing for the paper traders you see you see government policies uh, are based on various considerations so for for putting up this particular uh, i mean it's not a curb it's a check yeah. i mean they want they want uh, the reasonable ex- imports to be allowed the legitimate imports to be allowed but not the dumping so so in garb of uh, uh, imports there were lot of uh, products that were coming into india uh, which were not uh, uh, which were not you know their uh, uh, let us say through a legitimate channel it was it was a sort of dumping by those companies like their side cuts were being dumped into india at a very very low price you know so uh, this was hurting the indian paper industry so government has uh, you know uh, put his house in order now with with implementing this uh, this thing and this this is going to be you know a trial for for other products also from the from the government side and we are so very happy that government has finally you know taken this uh, step and it is not going to hurt even the importers you see it was not benefiting anybody and it was just the dumping from those companies into into the country and i think now it would be a fair opportunity for even the domestic players you know to 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 compete with the with the overseas uh, counterparts sir imf says that uh, 2023 there will be a recession around the globe so what do you think what any impact on the paper industry or you see you, you see this i mean i i i have i fail to understand the logics of economists many a time and and uh, many a times they say something which which really doesn't happen so so uh, i mean even if it is a recession so recession doesn't mean that demand is going to die demand will be there when they say recession then we have to really look into the numbers and i mean it is it is such a complicated thing let us not go into that let us uh, let us keep on responding uh, to whatever comes up for us in the in the in the market in the coming days and i feel recession when you say recession inflation inflation is going up in 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 europe and this is a recession in europe but demand is is there demand is not going down you you look at their growth numbers in europe none of the countries has reported negative growth so far so in 2023 it could be tough from liquidity point of view it could be tough from the availability of uh, you know funds uh, for for various investments uh, but from uh, demand point of view i really don't see a challenge in 2023 okay so thank you yeah thank you sir thank you so thank much thank you sir. thank you thank you